fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i really appreciate you much if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here <laughs> in this channel you are welcome please before you leave remember to join the family by subscribing and when you subscribe click that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every content that i upload in this channel today's video is going to be hot hot hotter than ever guys so grab a glass of wine a glass of water popcorn and enjoy the video because in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to know that that white man that you're chatting to is still married this has been a very big challenge to black women who are online dating sites searching for white men for marriage or for a relationship and i can tell you guys that <laughs> married white men on online dating apps win the cup of time wasters <laughs> yeah <laughs> but there is nothing to clap about it's so annoying guys it's very very annoying i'm saying that they win the cup of time wasters because a married white man on online dating apps even if he tells you beautiful beautiful words that seems to be true he will never marry you what he will do to you he will just waste your time he will delay you to getting to know a man who will love you for who you are a man who will treat you right a man who will make you happy for the rest of your life he will delay you getting to know him but before i jump into our today's video as a sister who loves you very very much i am going to advise you this please if you don't want these married white men on online dating apps to waste your time you should learn to say no and don't forget yourself if you think you have been chatting with this white man on online dating apps and time is going and going but you don't see the future it's better for you to end that relationship because some ladies will be like maybe it's the only chance they have got i've been on online dating apps but it's only this white man that has wrote to me so i should try my best that things work but remember in order for that love to work both of you should show efforts not the only you that is going to be showing efforts but for him he is going to be controlling telling you how he wants things to be done in a relationship not at all he should listen to you too that is why i'm telling you you shouldn't forget yourself just because you are chatting to a white man and you think it's the only chance that you have got no my dear beautiful sister you will get a man who will treat you good you will get a man who deserves you but that one who wants to control you don't call me i'll be the one to call you when you tell him no i think things are not done this way let's do this so that the relationship can work he tells you no things should be done my way no my dear beautiful sisters so let us jump into our today's video dear beautiful friends sign number one that will tell you if a white man that you've been chatting to on online dating apps or on online dating sites is still married is if this man avoids video calls when you tell him let's video call he will give you countless excuses or some of them will accept but never call you when they are at home never they will call you either they are at the mall doing some shopping or he just went there to talk to you or he will call you when he is in his car going back home or going to work or maybe he might call you when he is at the park but never in his house when you see that don't jump into a conclusion no tell this man that next time i want to talk to you when you are at home at your home and see how he is going to react 
if he tells you no you just know that this guy is married that is why he does not want you to talk to him when he is at home and let's say this white man accepts to call you when he is at home observe how comfortable he is while talking to you to add on that guys talk with him not only once because you insisted and insisted to talk to him when he is at home it shouldn't be only one time a month no you should do that at least three times a week because if he calls you once in a month it means that maybe a wife is outside the house then he goes that day to talk to you <laughs> so you should be very clever talk to this man at least three times a week on a video call but if he tells you no then you also say no to that relationship because he will only waste your time sign number two that will tell you if a white man that you've been chatting to on online dating apps or online dating sites is still married is if this man plays hide and seek games to you <laughs> so there are some periods this guy is not available completely and when you ask he will come up with a lot of excuses so some of these times or some of these periods can be evening time he will never ever call you during the evening no matter how you convince him he will never accept to communicate with you in the evening hours do you know why it's family time he will never be available during the weekend why family time <laughs> He will never be available during holidays like Christmas and Easter. Christmas for Europeans is family time. He wants to spend some quality time with his family, including his wife. Yes, because if he is single, he's going to look for you because he plans to make you his family. But if this guy is still married he's not going to look for you during christmas period and another thing i want you guys to know is that white men who are married they are very very protective when it comes to their marriages because white ladies don't tolerate a lot if you cheat on her she comes to know she will leave you Compared to us black women, we are very, very tolerative. A man can cheat on his wife and this wife is black. He will come and say sorry. He will bring gifts. He will try to tell her beautiful words so that she can forget and she will forget about it. Yes, but for white ladies, when you cheat on her, she will tell you, when I look at you, I feel like, you know, I feel nausea. When I look at you, I see dirty. Get out of my face. It's the end. I'm not going to continue with you this relationship. They ask for a divorce. So a white man, even if he cheats, he will make sure he protects his family. He will make sure that he cheats with too much carefulness, including disappointing a side chick which is you <laughs> i'm sorry to say this it's it's very very bad but he will disappoint you he can't afford to disappoint a wife <laughs> put his life in danger because if the divorce is involved he's gonna be paying the child support if they have kids he's gonna be paying the maintenance of the wife so he doesn't want to go through that hell <laughs> because he talked to you during the weekend and the wife came to know asked asked for a divorce no <laughs> he's gonna block you and when the weekend ends he will come back he's going to block you enjoy his christmas with the wife make her the perfect woman on earth and after that christmas he will come back to you with a lot of excuses and you will believe learn to say no 
you should learn to say no to save your time your precious time i have an example that i'm going to give you so that you can understand why these married white men on online dating apps disappears plays hide and seek game so there is this program here in italy whereby they reconcile people so one time when this man this man was married to an italian lady but he cheated on her and worst of all is that he cheated at the moment whereby the wife had lost their child she got a miscarriage and during that period it's when this guy was cheating on her to make matters worse the guy was cheating on her with the cousin the wife knew all about it but she told the husband that if there is anything bad that you are doing please stop it the guy did not understand anything he continued and in the end he decided that he wanted to end the relationship with the cousin of the wife so he decided to go and talk to a wife tell her the truth ask for forgiveness <laughs> so when he asked for forgiveness a wife refused completely and told the husband that take your bags and leave this house they had a family house the guy left time went by he tried and tried to ask for forgiveness from the wife the wife refused and declared herself as a widow <laughs> so this guy went to this program they called the wife the wife went and the guy started crying he was crying very very much telling the lady that i am sorry i know i hurt you so much but please forgive me i want to get back to you the wife told the husband that to start with why did you cheat on me why did you decide to enter in a tunnel that you knew you are not going to get out of why why did you go and sleep with my cousin it means that maybe i'm not good enough for you that is why you decided to cheat on me so i'm not going to forgive you and i repeat i'm a widow <laughs> so the woman left and never forgave the husband that is how white ladies can be but for us black women you will think of your parents who are begging you to forgive the husband you will think that i have kids with him i should forgive him and in the end that is why most women remain unhappy in their marriages so dear beautiful ladies i'm advising you to not accept be played don't accept a man to waste your time on online dating apps because the time you lose will cost you in the future that is why i also say him wasting your time delays you to find a man of your dreams so if you see this red sign say no and move forward keep on searching you will find a man that deserves you sign number three that will tell you if a white man you have been chatting to or you are chatting to now is still married has a wife is if you guys have been chatting and maybe come to talk of how you will meet then this man tells you i'm going to invite you and i've been always telling you if a guy invites you it means that he is serious with you because <laughs> he wants you to see his life but tells you that when you come in his country you will be staying at the hotel and of course you will come to know it even before coming it won't be a surprise because the papers he will send will have the booking of the hotel so when you see that you know that the guy will only use you because he is married he can't take you to his house because there is a wife <laughs> yes guys so if a guy invites you and tells you that we are going to meet at the hotel and it is in his country it's a red sign just tell the guy you know what i discovered you you have a wife <laughs> you have a wife stop wasting my time oh <laughs> oh some of them another sign guys 
He will want you guys to meet, but never in his country. Note that this time he wants you to meet in Dubai and then next time invite you in his country. No, he tells you never. You will never come to my country. When you ask him why, he will give you lots of excuses and he will stand for it that you will never ever visit his country. When you see that the guy is married, he cannot bring you in his country because he is married, he has a wife there. And some ladies have been wanting that these white men should go first in their countries. Guys, it's okay. I've said if he comes, don't give the goodies. But if a guy invites you, it means that that guy is serious. If you have been chatting with that guy, everything goes very, very well. He does not show you that he has got a controlling behavior. He doesn't tell you, I want a submissive woman. I want a woman who I will treat like a slave. If he doesn't tell you that, he is normal. He tells you where he works. He shares with you about his family. He is free with you in his life and then invites you. I don't think why you should be scared. Cause if he invites you and you say no, it means that you are not serious. He is serious, you are not serious. If you are scared that maybe this man will take you and then sell you something that happens very, very rarely. And in most cases, it's your fault because you ignore a lot of things that could have shown you that the guy is violent or the guy is a bad type. You ignore that and then in the end, you arrive in his country, he does bad things. Another tip to add on that, if you are not sure, you don't trust the guy, you have a lot of doubts, don't go to his country. But if you have satisfied yourself, the guy is good, he is free with you in his life, then go, go visit him. It doesn't mean when you go, he's gonna marry you at first. No, you are just going there to see his real life the things that he told you, if they were real or no. Cause you can say, I want the guy to come first. He comes first, yes. Then he pretends to be a very good man. And when he returns in his country, invites you. Then when you go, he becomes very violent. He starts showing you his real character. So what did you do? What I'm insisting is at the beginning of your relationship, when you are chatting, be careful, satisfy yourself, and when everything is clear, trust the guy. Also, before you leave, make sure that you find someone you trust in your family, if it is your brother, your sister, or even your mother, because you know our mothers are our best friends. Make sure you write the address of the guy, the phone number of the guy, the country and the city where you are going and the day you will return. So that if you don't return on that day, then your mother or that person that you really trust most will look for you by going to the embassy and report, you know, then you'll be helped. But guys, stop being scared very, very much. I told you, for you to be in an interracial relationship, you should know this, to take risks, guys, to take risks. Even if he comes five times in Africa, there is a day you will have to come to his country. <laughs> it will be your first day. It will be everything new. So you shouldn't be scared. Take risks, but be careful. Build a very strong relationship that will make you trust the guy and pray to God that the guy is good. So if the guy invites you and wants you to stay in a hotel or never wants you to visit his country, put to an end that relationship. Sign number four that will tell you if a white man that you're chatting to on online dating apps is still married is if this man tells you that I am divorced, which is okay, anyone can get divorced, things happen but I am still living with my ex-wife. 
when you hear that run 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 that relationship first of all is complicated already like I told you in my last video white men don't like complicated relationships when it comes to black women but you too shouldn't accept a complicated relationship if a guy is divorced he should be living alone separately his own free life single life <laughs> but if this white man is still living with a wife they're still sharing the house sharing bank accounts he will continue chatting with you he will tell you sweet sweet words but in the end when it comes to concrete things things should happen you should meet and start a family he'll start telling you i cannot invite you because we share a bank account with my wife so i cannot do anything without my ex-wife signing the papers and for this i am sure I won't sign so why were you on online dating apps why were you chatting to a black woman who is in Africa? So dear beautiful ladies, if a man tells you I'm still living with my ex-wife, run. Run because that relationship will never be. He will never marry you. Or if you think that this man you've been chatting for so long and he tells you I'm still living with my ex-wife, but you want him and you think he really loves you, then tell him to fix his life. When he is ready, his life is fixed. He is free in his own apartment. If you still be single, you can give him a chance. <laughs> Sign number five that will tell you if a white man you're chatting to on online dating apps, online dating sites, is still married, is if this man that you have been chatting to or you are chatting right now, talks a lot about Whatever he talks is said. He likes very, very much that conversation. He asks for nude photos, which you always send. When he wants you to do online sex, you do it. And if you want money, he sends it to you. But if you wake up one day and tell this man that you guys need to meet, he'll start giving you a lot of excuses some will start telling you i've got covid <laughs> you know i got covid so <laughs> we're supposed to travel and come and see you but i got covid don't believe that because <laughs> this time he'll tell you he got covid the next time he will come and tell you uh, my mother is sick i cannot come <laughs> the next time he will say okay I want to be the one to come and visit you then he will tell you I lost my job <laughs> yes guys so what I'm advising you on this stop the online things I don't know how many times I'm going to sing about this but please my dear beautiful ladies stop doing that you are making this man very very comfortable why are you giving that to him let him show you the efforts to have that <laughs> which means that he will follow the right ways to get that <laughs> in real life but not doing all these things please please don't make these men very comfortable and some of them are very very clever they are going to trick you by sending you their eggplants so that you can be comfortable and send what you're good <laughs> a man who likes talking much 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 about that that guy is married and he is there chatting with you only for that so if you want to know if he is real or not if you have done that mistake already tell him that i cannot continue doing this what i want is for us to talk of you know future to talk of the future because that's what is more important than that one when you are still chatting so wake up stop it or if you haven't done that 
If a man comes with that talking, you know that the guy is married and he wants to try something new, which is online sex <laughs> with you. <laughs> so number six, for those of you who want a white man to come first in Africa and visit you, we take an example. This man is a rich guy or he is financially stable. He's someone who likes traveling a lot. So coming to Africa is not an issue. It's not a big deal. <laughs> He comes to Africa to see you and maybe when you are together the phone rings he tells you I want my private moment <laughs> to talk please can you go out or can you stay far or he is the one who moves and something very surprising you find that maybe the guy is example Italian so you don't understand Italian, but still he will move away from you so that he can communicate with the person who called. It's not a good sign, guys, because him moving away means that he doesn't want you to know anything about that call, who is calling and... <laughs> <laughs> and what they are talking about or maybe he's scared if he stays a cough can just come and you cough <laughs> then the wife listens who is that lady coughing next to you <laughs> i told you they are very protective when it comes to their marriages so he will be very very protective when his phone calls and he might even not want to talk about that call or who called not because he is so reserved he doesn't want you to know about his family not at all not at all if a guy is really really serious with you he wants to create a future with you he won't tell you this is private i don't want you to ask me anything about that call it is private you know he's very very protective when it comes to who called him he will make sure that he really stands for that if you see that if you see that my dear beautiful ladies that's a red sign i'm not going to tell you this time to leave him no don't jump into a conclusion because you haven't seen the other side of his life with your own eyes but what you need to do after he has visited you in africa before leaving tell him that next time you want to visit him in his country if he accepts and he will invite you at his house then trust that man and forget about the call <laughs> if he tells you no next time i'll be the one to come and visit you you know my country is not good it's very very cold you won't like it <laughs> starts to talk on your behalf you know something is not right the guy is married in his country <laughs> sign number seven that will tell you if a white man that you're chatting to on online dating apps or on online dating sites is still married is if this man calls you at a particular time every day every week for example this guy always calls you at midnight every day is at midnight never during the day never evening hours but at midnight and sometimes while talking to you he will abruptly end the call tell you i will call you back but never calls when you see that the guy has got a routine of calling you the same time or that day of the week it's only that day not other days you know that this guy has got something that is hiding white men protect their marriages so he might be calling you at midnight while the wife is sleeping and maybe a wife might hear some voices comes to look then he ends the phone abruptly <laughs> so that he can protect the marriage he will wait the wife is sleeping and then he will move maybe upstairs and talk to you the side chick 
<laughs> for example like me let's take an example if my husband was cheating he will never talk to you during evening hours because i'm at home cooking after that we go watch a movie he can't change and say i'm going to call someone while i'm seated there wanting to watch a movie together no he won't that way so that our routines can continue but he will take his own free time or the time when i am sleeping then call the side chick so if you see that dear beautiful ladies i'm talking with examples so that you can understand you know that the white man is married just leave him alone and guys when you see things are getting very very complicated this relationship is getting very very complicated it is not giving you peace it's not what you wanted it's not what you dream to have don't continue forcing yourself don't continue convincing yourself that things will work out not at all if the other part is not ready to show efforts like you do better live learn to say no that is our motto of today learn to say no and you will save time on online dating apps so guys we have reached to an end of our video thank you so much for your time thank you so much guys we reached 3k subscribers i'm so happy and this is all thanks to you so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good you're going to learn a lot of things subscribe please if you haven't let's keep growing so subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video please <laughs> until next video i love you so much you're always here in my heart oh, ciao, ciao.